Hey guys, this is Goofer King, and today I'm going to be showing you my homemade Geiger counter. This was made for around $50 with parts that were bought at Radio Shack and one part that was purchased off of eBay. So first I'm going to give you a rundown of the major components. The first is the Geiger tube. This is what actually detects the radiation. This is an SBM 20 Geiger tube that was purchased off of eBay. The next major component is the high voltage supply. This creates around 300 volts DC and is used to power the Geiger tube. I'm just using a flash circuit from a disposable camera. This runs off of 1.5 volts DC. The other major component is the circuit that actually makes the clicking noise. This is just made from some transistors and resistors and a capac some capacitors that were purchased at Radio Shack and an 8 ohm speaker. It runs off of 3 volts DC. So I'll power up this circuit and I will show you what it sounds like and what it can be used for. The first thing to do is to connect the power to the high voltage supply. Okay, so that's running. So now I need to connect the power to the detection circuit. Now you can hear some clicks that are being created by background radiation. I'm going to try something a little more radioactive. I've got this sample of uranium-238 that I got from unitednuclear.com. As you can see, it's in this sealed, argon-filled package. When I put it near the Geiger tube, You can hear the radiation being detected, and that's putting out a large amount of radiation. Now I'm going to show you some of the individual components a little bit closer up. This is the flash circuit that creates 300 volts DC. And you can see that it, I can tell when it's on because when it is connected to a power supply, this little LED comes on. I've soldered on some wires where the large capacitor used to be um, and that's where the high voltage comes out of. And the high voltage is then connected to the anode and cathode of the Geiger tube. This is the uh, cathode and this is the, the body itself is the anode. Then the anode and cathode of the Geiger tube is connected to the detection circuit. and the output of the Geiger tube comes in here in the circuit through a uh, 500 volt capacitor and it also comes through this resistor. I'll include a link in the description to the site where I found the circuit diagram for this. This circuit consists of four different transistors. The first two transistors stretch the signal that comes from the Geiger tube, there's a little there's little voltage drops here and there when the tube detects a particle of radiation. These first two transistors, they lengthen that signal so that it's a little more usable. The second transistors amplify it so that it can be heard on this 8 ohm speaker. And that's the simplest way that I can explain how this circuit works. In the future I might add an N-level MOSFET to this circuit that way, we can actually hook this up to a computer and get some CPM readings. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I found this project really fun and interesting. And as I said, I'll include a link in the description to the site where you can find the instructions on how to build this circuit as well as how to get some of the other components. I'll see you guys in the next video, and in the meantime, rate, comment, and subscribe.